Hi everyone. How was my last tutorial about the conjugations of regular and irregular verbs in the German language? Do comment in the comment section. Now before you study this tutorial, please check out my tutorial 19 part 2 in which I have mentioned some activities that one can do in the free time. Those free time activities can be your actual professions and they can also be your hobbies. In this tutorial, you need to keep in mind those free time activities and I will show you some new activities. Also, please have a look at my tutorial 11 part 3 in which I have given a quick introduction to the German basic possessive pronouns. My, your, his, her, etc. That I will mention in this tutorial also. So in this tutorial, I am going to tell you how to talk about your hobbies in German. So moving on. So to speak about hobbies is in German über Hobbies sprechen. Now interestingly, the word hobby has been taken from the English language and used as it is in German. One hobby is das hobby, plural die hobbies. And sprechen is to speak. So if someone asks you, what are your hobbies? There are two possible question words in German that you can use for asking. These are was or what in English or you can use welche or which. So you can ask about the hobby in these four ways. Was is dein hobby? For one hobby, what is your hobby? Was sind deine hobbies? What are your hobbies? In plural. Or you can make use of the question word welche but for a singular hobby this question word gets an s at the end because the article of hobby is das now this is also part of a grammar that will come in my later tutorials so 
welches Hobby hast du? So whichever you remember easily, you can ask in that way. And for plural, welche hobbies hast du? Which hobbies do you have? Someone can also ask, was magst du in der Freizeit? Or what do you do in the free time? Now, in my tutorial 19, part 2, I mentioned that the article for this word, Freizeit, is D. But now you are seeing in this question the article DER. This is because of the use of a certain grammar in German which will come in my later tutorials. So for the time being you just need to know that if you are asking someone specifically what he or she does in the free time was machst du in der Freizeit? Now in the written and more in the spoken German, a certain adverb is used when you are describing an activity that you do. This is the adverb Gern or gerne. Now both are used interchangeably because both mean the same. So they mean gladly or with pleasure. So when describing an activity and using this adverb, you mean to say that you do that activity gladly or with pleasure. Note that in the German questions and sentences, gern or gerne will be placed just after the main conjugated verb. Now, in order to show you what I mean by this, let me first show you some activities which can also be considered as hobbies. To do sport, which in German makes use of the verb treiben to mean to do. Sport treiben. Then you can also be fond of gardening, which is Garten Arbeit. Now note that we use two nouns. Der Garten, which is the garden, and the Arbeit, which is work. Which is the same as saying to work in the garden, im Garten arbeiten. Then you can have the hobby of listening to music. Musik hören. Then if you like to walk, simply you can make use of the verb spazieren. But Going for a walk in German, instead of just using the verb for a walk or for strolling, we will use to go for a walk. Spazieren gehen, where gehen means to go. Reisen, which is travel. So you might 
have the hobby of traveling. Now sometimes instead of this verb reisen, we use the verb machen with the noun Ausflug. Where Ausflug, their Ausflug is any trip and in plural, it is die Ausflüge. So, making or doing trips. And last of all, we have the hobby fishing or angeln. So, to do fishing or to do angling. Now, how would these hobbies look like in actual sentences? Now, there are two ways to talk about the hobbies in sentences. Either you will simply say, if you have just one hobby, for example, Mein hobby is Sport treiben. Mein hobby is Garten Arbeit. Mein Hobby ist Musik hören. Mein Hobby ist Spazieren gehen. You can describe a singular hobby like that. You can also combine two hobbies and say Meine Hobbys sind Sport treiben und Gartenarbeit. Or you can even say, if you want to combine three hobbies, Meine Hobbys sind Sport treiben, Gartenarbeit und and Ausflüge machen to do trips. Or instead of this, Reisen. Then the other way to describe the hobby or hobbies in sentences is not to use my hobby is or my hobbies are, but to simply conjugate the verb that is coming with the noun. For this, you need to know that these verbs that I've just shown you are all regular verbs. So you can describe your hobby or hobbies like this. Ich treibe gern Sport. And note that gern is coming just after the main conjugated verb, but before the noun. So this is how you're going to position gern in the sentences. So the question could be, Treibst du gern Sport? Do you do sport with pleasure or gladly? To which you can answer, ich treibe gern Sport. So, I do do sport with pleasure. But if you don't like to do sport, 
gladly you can negate this sentence and position nicht but then note that nicht will come between the main conjugated verb and gern like this so ich treibe nicht gern sport I do not like to do sport gladly. Also note, Liebling means favorite. And if you add an S and then substantive or noun, which can be in this case, for example, if somebody asks you, what is your favorite sport? This is how it will be asked and this is how it is written. And you will answer by saying my Liebling sport is Fußball. So my favorite sport is football. That was all for today. Do stay updated for part two of this tutorial as I show you some more hobbies. Thank you.